Number seven. The amount of heat required to melt two pounds of ice is twice the amount of heat required to melt one pound of ice. Is this observation a macroscopic or microscopic description of chemical behavior? Explain your answer. All right, so let's track back. It says the amount of heat required to melt two pounds of ice is twice the amount to melt one pound of ice. Macroscopic or microscopic? Remember, macroscopic means it's the stuff that we can see with our eyes. So everyday measurements would be part of the macroscopic domain. Taking a temperature, taking a weight, taking a mass, taking a volume, etc., etc. Microscopic is for everything that we cannot see. Atoms, molecules, bacteria, etc., etc. So here it just comes down to... Is this a measurement or can we see something versus can we not see something? So here it's the amount of heat required to melt two pounds of ice. Can we actually see the two pounds of ice melting? Yes, we can. And it's a, it's a physical measurement that we can take. So this would definitely be a macroscopic description of chemical behavior, explain your answer because this is basically a measurement. You're just seeing how much heat was actually required to melt two pounds of ice. Since it's a measurement and we can see it happening, it's a macroscopic description. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. If it did, press that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.